Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 137 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. That was kind of easy. <laughs> that first set was kind of easy. Uh, looks like I definitely rested this morning after work. And I had a decent sized meal too. So <laughs> that probably helped with that first set even though it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I'm doing dips on a dip bar. Uh, but it's a good warm up. I'll say it is a definitely a very good warm up. Good way to start the day. Uh, what else? Um, as you notice on the card at the beginning of the video, it's three exercises, including the dips. After the dips, we're gonna do the pulley, and then we'll finish the day with kickbacks. Hopefully by the time we get to the kickbacks, uh, my muscles are already being worked. Actually, hopefully by the time I'm done with the dips, <laughs> my triceps start feeling the burn. All right, and I'll have my phone all the way back there because he's almost dead. I do have my pulley mostly ready. Just have to hook it there and go for it. I did not set up the dumbbells yet, but I have plenty of time for that. So hopefully the video will be short. Barely over a minute to go on our first break. I know these breaks are really long, but that's what is working out for me. At least have a little bit of consistency there on the rest time at least. Now I do feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger. Not very noticeable, but if you work out every day, <laughs> you notice when you can do one more rep or when you feel stronger you can do one more rep or the reps that you're doing feel a little bit easier all right time is almost up and still wearing long sleevers and pants because it's cold almost done with this winter time anyway here we go
All right, let's take our second break. Getting warming here. <laughs> uh, at some point, I'm gonna take this sweatshirt off. Besides that, it's kind of uncomfortable to work out with it. I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> I'm definitely getting warm in here. <sighs> All right. Time is ticking. Today's day 137. Feels like it's gonna be a long while until we get make it to day 150, which is halfway through our journey. My body weight's been fluctuating up and down. Not much like a yo-yo. It's more like how the stock market crashes. <laughs> it doesn't just go down. <laughs> it comes down, goes up a little bit and keeps going down. And then up a little bit and then down. Just like that. It's, and I can actually feel, I can tell when I'm heavier <laughs> than the day before. Uh, still not drinking coffee. So I'm running on pure food energy and fat energy. Um, not really running on any type of steel me land, which is kind of different. Uh, I no longer have the withdrawal headaches from the coffee. So that's a plus. I definitely feel good. Like I feel, I don't know how to say it, clear. That's what I feel like right now. No clouds. Just feel good in general. All right. Two more sets of the dips and then we'll go to the pulley. Uh, just a few more seconds to go. And our second break. And yes, I already have my gloves on because dumbbells are cold. Even though I'm not working out with the dumbbells right now, but I know as soon as I grab them, I'm gonna be cold and Right, I have the gloves on now. Anyway, time is up, kind of. And here we go. Let's take our third break. Whew. Definitely feeling the burn. All right, let's take this thing off. And as I was saying, my body weight's been fluctuating, going up and down in the past few days, kind of weeks more so than days, but right now, right now I'm on the trend down, body weight is on the way down and I feel like I finally got to the spot where stubborn fat is going to be. <laughs> taking forever to burn the last couple pounds of fat 
most likely love handles and abdominal area is where most of the fat is gonna take longer to burn. Other than that, uh, progress muscle-wise, eh, it's okay. I can, I would like to be bigger than this, but I only work so, I only work out so much. I can't expect miracles. <laughs> I stimulate the muscles barely once a week. Granted, I do go to failure and I do work out hard ish but can't expect my muscles to just blow up go big from day to night from one day to another it's gonna take a little bit hopefully between now and the end of the challenge i have something to show for we'll see Alright, just a few more seconds. We'll do our last set of the dips, get rid of the bench, and then we'll start with the pulley. There's my water. Time is up ish. Here we go. Was good definitely feel the burn in the triceps it kind of feels like feeling the soreness from last week like last week's exercise but anyway let's get rid of this bench Hopefully this thing will be quieter today than last time. <laughs> All right, I already have it loaded with 45 pounds, which is the one of the 35 pounders plus a 10 pound plate. That, that should be a good start. Um, I'll do one or two sets with that and then I'll add five pounds. I know five pounds is kind of a little bit of weight, not enough to brag about it, but it's, again, we are not eagle lifters here. It's more about the results more than the ego. So might, might not add the five pounders. You know, last time I put 10 pounds and in one or two of the reps, I start feeling a tendonitis on this forearm, which is not fun. And I don't want to go through that again. Not that it hurt after that, but I don't want to take the chance to hurt myself again. 
All right, so just a few more seconds and we'll start pulling this thing. took the sweatshirt off and now I'm like, yeah, should I put it back on? <laughs> oh, it's hard to do one thing or the other. This cold weather is uh, out of whack. Anyway, time is up and here we go. Felt real good. Definitely felt real good. Thing is annoying. Let me get the WD-40. I have actually some grease that I can probably put on, but I guess I'll do the grease uh, after the video. <laughs> Because that will be a little more flavor intense. Looks like this thing has a little bit of an axis crack here, or I don't know how you want to call it. But. All right, that should do. Okay, see where's the timer? Oh, still have plenty of time there. <sighs> Might have to upgrade the pulley for a more quieter one. <sighs> I just want it to be cheap. <laughs> uh, there is a pulley at the store, hardware store that is definitely quieter than this and has a capacity probably more than this for the higher capacity this is 420 pounds which I will never ever pull with this for two reasons one I'm really weak <laughs> I'm not that strong and two some of this equipment will not handle 400 pounds so you're always limited limited by your weakest link. In this case, I believe the weakest link is this hook, not the carabiner, but the, the hook on the bar. I think it's 250 pounds, I think. Something like that. Then everything else is above 250 pounds. Uh, limit but again I look I'm <laughs> I'm pulling 45 pounds and I'm kind of struggling with it so yeah it's plenty I know I will probably upgrade to uh, which I should do it should do it now let's put the uh, five pounder on right now because I did more than more than 15 reps in the last set anyway time is up and here we go
take another break. Felt real good. Every single rep. Oh, let's see, where are we here? Oh, we still have like eight more minutes. At the end of the next set, I'll reset the cam. Whew. This is a good exercise. Um, I kind of had to have a some sort of love-hate relationship with this uh, pulley systems. They tend to make the exercise the exercise is easier, which kind of is a trade-off for some body parts. You don't have to stabilize the the weight. It's just get in position and do the motion but at the same time you trade in a little bit of strength and some of the other stabilizing muscles get disengaged when you're doing pull the exercises an example of that is lats pull downs uh, you can definitely do more weight on the pulley than you can actually do pull-ups why because on the pull-up you engage more muscles and you also spend more more energy pulling yourself up on the pull-up bar than with the pulley just pulling it down now with the pulley you kind of target it more to the lats than with the pull-up than with the pull-up but again you just gotta decide what you're looking for looking for strength target the muscle what is it that you're looking for and then pick the machine you can never go wrong if you do both now just don't overtrain when you do both then go crazy uh, just find a sweet spot listen to your body that's the best that's probably the best advice i can give today listen to your body it will tell you when you're doing too much or too little. All right, just a few more seconds. We're going to go into our third set of this pulleys, which is tricep push downs. And I believe that's the technical name of the exercise. Anyway, time is up. And here we go. break wow it's getting heavy
Uh, well, I guess it was not recording. Well, I was here talking to myself. <laughs> talking about the camera. Not about the camera. About my abs. Uh, I feel the exercise from yesterday. And apparently I did something right. And uh, I need to go for a little bike ride today just because I feel like I'm really close to go over my calories. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna burn, burn some extra calories this evening. And we'll go from there. Uh, I'm not sure for how long I was talking to myself because I want to reset the camera for some reason they didn't take the other press, the second press. So, barely under a minute to go on this break. So, that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> ah, I definitely felt every rep there. This is going to be the third not the third, the fourth set of this tricep push downs. Thereafter, we're gonna close the day with uh, kickbacks. <sighs> All right, time is up. And here we go. another break wow definitely felt every rap <sighs> right let's get this thing out of the way Right over here. Here is my girls. Hanging it out of the way. Let's get put this weight away. Pushing down 50 pounds. That's, that's not very much. That's kind of what I was doing on the extensions. No, more so like kind of what I was doing with the kickbacks. Because the dumbbells are loaded with 20 pounds, plus the little bars are like five pounds. It's kind of 25 pounds on the kickbacks, which is next exercise. After this, I'm gonna go in inside the house. And hang out with the girls. like technology is not on my side in general.
So, here's the dilemma I have. Either I put up with this camera till the end of this challenge, which is over 150 days now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. It's over 150 days now, because thereafter, the videos are definitely gonna be shorter. I don't think I will be posting hour long videos after day 300. I don't know, we'll see, depending on what, depending on what's going on. But anyway, either that put up with this camera until the end of the challenge, or get one ca a camera that can continuously record the whole thing. <laughs> kind of want to get another camera, but anyway. Can't afford investment right now. Time is up. And here we go. Take a break. That was a good set. Felt my shoulder there a little bit. Nothing crazy. Kind of a combination between pain and soreness or some sort of soreness more than pain not sure what it is about but definitely trying to keep the movement straight back not so much Outwards. Well, anyway, three more sets of this exercise, and I'm gonna call it a day. Yep. exercise I think it's chest day I think Whew. Whew. and two more exercise it's gonna be pretty much like today well except for the push-ups I'll do a couple sets of push-ups and then we'll go with the Start with the flies again. Start with the dumbbell flies. And then we'll start pressing. I think I'll go flat first. And then take some weight off and do incline. I think that's the best approach. All right, just a few more seconds to go. I'm getting some definition on my muscles, but they're not 
really growing, growing per se. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Hopefully they'll grow. Hopefully they'll grow. Time is up. And here we go. Feeling every single rep. That's a good feeling. Even. Even the heart rate's going up a little bit. Nothing crazy, still below 105. I think he made it barely to 100. Come on, get him away. Yeah, 97. Now, yesterday while I was on the bike, I was pretty consistent. 123 was pretty much the average. I made it up to 127 and 130 maybe for like five minutes <laughs> or less but yeah in the 120s is good it's not crazy it's not crazy high it's not crazy low but kept that general pace for the majority of the cardio or the majority of, of the bike ride Whew. Maybe it's the excessive amount of cardio that is hindering my muscle gains. However, at this particular point in this journey, I'm not too concerned about the muscle gain. I definitely want to shred most, most of the fat as I possibly can. Since I am still a beginner, have a pretty good chance of gaining some muscle even in a deficit even on a deficit with cardio in it I'm not planning on slowing down too much the cardio maybe just a little bit and I need to readjust or rethink my calorie limit calorie deficit or recalculate what's my maintenance calories because now I'm getting some muscle I'm pretty sure I consume or I burn more calories throughout the day than what I did 137 days ago all right time is up here we go
last break. Oh, let's take the last break. Whew. Definitely feeling every set I do. As silly as these exercises may seem, they definitely target the triceps. All of them. From the dips, to the pull and push downs, and the kickbacks. And since I eliminated, eliminated <laughs> the extensions, well, the either overhead extensions, or the ones I was doing laying down with the plates. I haven't had any elbow pain or discomfort, which is always a, a good thing. All right, just a few more, well, over a minute. <laughs> Barely under two minutes to go on our last break. And I'm glad I started to get back in shape while I still have uh, semi young skin. <laughs> so, all this extra layers of skin they can naturally retract and go back to where they're supposed to be. Or where they used to be when I was skinny guy, skinny kid. As skinny as a broomstick. Oh. Oh. And Monday is coming up for the chiropractor's appointment. Whew. Just a few more seconds to go on our very last break. We'll get out of here and come back tomorrow for some more. All right, just a few more seconds. Let's have a sip. Time is up. Here we go. Well, that's definitely it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.